Today was the first day of the Class State A tennis tournament in Kalispell, Montana. Let's start with the boys' doubles. It was Mark Southam and Nathaniel Leonardson of Dillon taking on Charlie Parkin and Christian Coleman of Billings Central. It was all Dillon today here early in the first set. Too much spin on this one and Billings hits it into the net. Then some nice play in front as Leonardson slams it right down the middle for the winner. Dillon eventually takes it 6-3, 6-2 in straight sets. And in the other quarter final, it was Whitefish's Mark Anderson and Coulter Upton taking on Harden's Ryan Oldcrow and Kent Swice. Nice rally here and great effort from Swice to get it over, but Anderson finishes with a nice shot, too hard to handle. Then here on the serve, Swice sends it over, but tons of spin from Anderson, and Swice lobs it a little too far for the Whitefish winner. They take it in straight sets to move on 6-3 to three and 6-4. to four. Then another Harden team, Jonathan and Ben Noteboom, the brothers, taking on Aiden Petritz and Guido Ocello from Butte. Here Butte gets it teed up and slams it home for the winner, but that's all they would get as Noteboom gets the second slam attempt here after finishing that first one, and he nails this one over his opponent's head. They win in straight sets 6-1 to one and 6-4. to four. Now let's move over to the girls' doubles. It was Molly Powell and Bailey Jessup of Corvallis taking on Polson's Ara Mercer and Megan Rost. Early a nice rally, but it ends with Powell hitting it into the net, and Polson picks up the point. Mercer and Ross take it in straight sets eventually, 6-3 to three and 6-3. to three. Then Harden's Katie Murdoch and Makiko Rising, another Harden pair, taking on Whitefish's Aubrey Hanks and Olivia Podhoff. Nice rally, but Murdoch slams at home here. They win in straight sets, 6-3 to three and 7-5 to five in a tiebreaker. Then Kaylee Cummings and Deidre Don't Mix of Harding taking on Cody Vondra and Sylvie Shonen of Park High. Harden takes the point here after a long rally, but Park would win it eventually in the two tiebreakers. They win 7-6 and 7-5. Then Berkeley Ellis and Kia Harling of Polson taking on Harden's Macy Flam and Riley Green. Here early first set served from Harlan for the winner. Then some nice work for Ellis as she puts some spin on this and it's too much to handle for Harden. Polson eventually wins in straight sets, 6-0 and 6-2. Now let's go to the singles. It was the boys first. Harden's basketball star, famous left hand, taking on Corvallis' Aubrey Potier. Nice rally here from both boys, but left hand pulls it into the net to drop a point but he would recover the rest of the match to win. He had some great lob shots like this one that were 2-5 for Potier, and Famous takes it, winning it 6-3 and 6-3 in straight sets. Then last year's runner-up, Brendan Bulls from Whitefish, taking on Caleb Warnken from Corvallis. Awesome rally here, ends in Bulls hitting a perfect drop shot eventually over Caleb's head for the winner. This one would go three sets, but Bulls takes it, 6-3, 4-6, then 6-2. Then Matt Knight of Dillon taking on Ethan Carney of Glendive. Problems all day from Knight as he could not stop hitting it into the net or hitting it long for the second set on. Carney drops the second set, but takes it in three, six to three, four to six, and six to three. Then last year's Class A state champ, Brad Rakic from Dillon, taking on Dalton Bleski from Miles City. Rakic making quick work and easy work today. He blows past Pileski, winning in straight sets, 6-0 and 6-0, not dropping a set. Then to the girls' singles, Butte Central's Trisha Joyce, the basketball star, taking on Blaine Meyer from Billings Central. Early on, Joyce having trouble with accuracy as Meyer takes the point, but Joyce would settle in and figure it out nicely and eventually takes it in two sets, going 7-6 in the tiebreak and 6-1 in the last one. Then Whitefish's Gracie Smiley taking on Madeline Delio from Corvallis. Early on, Delio gets a point here on the nice shot to the back left corner but it was Smiley all day after that. She moves on in straight sets, winning it six to nothing and six one. Then it was Park High's Bobby Lima. She takes down Columbia Falls' Hannah Schweikert, winning six to three and six to four in straight sets. Then the final match of the corner finals for the girls' singles, and Shea McGinnis of Polson looking to repeat in 2019 after a 2018 state title. Not a bad start today. She wins in straight sets to beat Eliana Foss of Hamilton and move on to the next round.